Okay. Half a day. My name is Tossy Castro. I am back for the holidays. I'm here shooting with my friend James. Um, we've actually shot before in the past, um, but this is my second time on Guam Photography. So we're just excited to um, get together today mm -hmm. and review this camera for you guys. So stay tuned. Yes, we got a lot of good shots so far with the Leica mm -hmm. SL2S. Primarily in this camera review, I'll be comparing it to the original Leica SL because I did previously own the camera. Now I have this uh, newer camera and they're very similar. Both have 24 megapixels. Uh, this one has a different sensor because it's BSI backside illuminated. So it should be better in um, higher ISO um, when the sun sets and you take uh, those darker shots. It should have better quality. Uh, so far, uh, Tossi, what do you think of the um, pictures coming out from the camera? Um, they are very vivid. They're, the lighting is amazing. Mm -hmm. We even actually have a reflector out today. We're using a reflector. So thank you, Ji Young. Yes, thank you, Ji, <laughs> for helping us out. Um, the camera itself is very lightweight. Um, I love how everything is so easy to use and mm -hmm. um, it's all touch screen. So yeah, I'm loving it so far. Excited yeah. to shoot some more. A lot of good shots yeah, so far. Yeah, a lot of good shots. For and sure. for those wondering, the lens on the camera is a Sigma 45 millimeter 2.8. So it's a very compact and lightweight lens. Mm -hmm. So as Tossi mentioned, it feels lightweight in the hands. And I think this may be the perfect travel setup. Absolutely. Right here. Yeah. yeah. I can see myself traveling anywhere. Yeah. And it's not too big where you'll be bumping mm -hmm. it perfect when size. you're yeah. traveling in mm -hmm. different places. In the aisle way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We have one more outfit later on. Yes. And we're going to change location to the beach, mm -hmm. but we'll still continue to shoot here on the street. Here, just so you're safe and you're not going to be hit. So you're not standing on the road. The two or three. Oh, wait for the car. Thank you. Very good. Good posing. Going to get three or four body shots. Good, one, two, and three. A couple more. Nice. So there's some physical differences between the SL2S and the regular SL. One thing I noticed is the grip. The grip in the SL2 feels very good. There's like a small indent here inside, but it feels really good when I just grip it with my fingers and my fingers go in. I feel like I have a more stronger grip and I don't really feel like I, I need a, a strap. Also, the screen at the back, the SL2S has a 3.2 inch touchscreen. It is uh, pretty high resolution at 2.1 million dots versus the regular SL. It just has a 2.95 inch touchscreen and only 1 million dots. Uh, so far, just liking the build. It feels really great in the hands. Also, the original SL had a really good build, uh, but just a newer grip. Uh, makes everything feel um, so solid and for some reason it feels that the touch screen is a little bit more responsive in this um, SL2S. Okay, one more shot. Nice. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the 24 megapixel sensor in the SL2S is BSI, meaning backside illuminated, so a better higher ISO. The major difference in the sensor compared to the original like SL is IBIS, in-body image stabilization. So this has it. So when shooting in low light, I can do like a low shutter speed and the picture should still be sharp. And later on, we're gonna test a video with the Fujifilm X-T4 side by side with Tossie walking to see how stable the video is uh, in a video. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm gonna put that in. Electronic viewfinder. The Leica SL had a very good electronic viewfinder, 4.4 megapixels. Um, but this viewfinder, I do notice the quality a little bit better. It's a 5.76 um, million dot EVF, about 0.78x compared to the Leica SL, which had a 0.80x magnification for the viewfinder. I can't really tell the difference between the magnification for the viewfinders, but uh, the viewfinder, the EVF, and the Leica SL2S does seem better and much clearer to my eyes. The card slots on the SL2S, dual card slots, both card slots is UHS-2 compatible versus the Leica SL, 
only the first card slot is UHS-2, but the second card slot is only UHS-1. So it's good we have two card slots that have really fast, um, capable writing speeds. So when I'm taking um, fast frames per second, it can write to the cards quickly. Speaking about fast frames per second, SO2S electronic mode can do 25 frames per second versus the Leica SO, it can do about 11 frames per second. I believe that's mechanical. Um, but yeah, so this is um, the S, uh, SO2. The S stands for speed in the name. Yeah. Okay, so we still have some daylight. We're going to continue shooting. Good. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Very nice. So the battery in the Leica SL2S is the same battery in the Leica SL. It is BP SCL4. Even though they have the same battery, this is rated at 510 shots versus the Leica SL at only 400 shots. When we get down to the beach behind this hotel, we're going to do a comparison between the Fujifilm X-T4 um, with a 4K video and image stabilization. Also, the price is a lot different. When the Leica SL came out in 2015, it was actually selling for around $7,500. But when this just came out last month, it was actually selling for around $4,800. So a big price reduction. I think Leica wanted to compete with other brands uh, like Sony. While we wait for Tossi to come down with their second outfit, one thing I noticed is the IBIS in this camera is very good, very, very steady when I'm holding the shutter halfway down, focusing on Tossi's face to take the shot. Even if I'm kind of moving my position a little bit because I'm using a prime lens to um, recompose, IBIS is really good. Um, can't wait to compare it against the um, X-T4. Also, uh, another thing that I noticed is the color science of this is very, very similar to the Leica SL. Uh, no changes in that. I don't um, have the camera next to me to compare, um, but it does remind me of the um, Leica SL. Um, also, just from using the, um, the camera for about an hour and a half, grip really, really helps out. Uh, another thing I noticed is the face on body detect. It had a hard time detecting um, Tossie's face while she was using her shades um, at the street level. So I just did a box around her face. I don't think this has like Sony's eye autofocus, um, but it will detect the face. And when I do check, the eyes are sharp and in focus. So not the greatest um, body slash face uh, detection um, this uh, camera has, but um, it's um, pretty accurate, somewhat accurate. So just want to mention the battery life is really, really good. I was playing with this camera last night and also um, using it for about 100 shots. And the battery has only went down to about 75%. Really impressed with battery life. Uh, there's Tossie now. And she's in her second outfit. Tossie, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> So this is like you'll see sometimes the SO2S do like full body. Um, right now it's pretty good, it's detecting Tossie's face. Okay, Tossie, oh there, there's a full body. Okay, Tossie, come closer to the camera, please. So it's still grabbing her face. Good, let me take a shot. Another shot. Good. Keep walking or <laughs> like okay. the camera. Please, uh, Again? you're good. Uh, go off, go off frame. Okay. I don't want to be on the you're, you're good, you're good. And then, okay, Tasi, come back in. So it's pretty good in detecting. Okay, come closer to the camera. Good, still locks on. Good, not bad. Okay, leave the frame really quick. What? Leave the frame really oh. quick and then come back, come back. 
it's pretty quick come back in let's see how quick it can detect okay not bad couple seconds okay one more time leave the frame and Tyson's is going to come back in and a little bit of, of a problem detecting but it's decent it's not bad One, two, three. Okay, a little bit closer, three foot body shot. Very nice. Great pose. Very good. One, two, and three. A couple more. The SO2S had a hard time keeping Tossi in focus while we were walking. Settings were at default. The IBIS and the Fujifilm X-T4 is better because it was combined with a lens that has OIS. SO2S had the Sigma 45, which does not have any image stabilization, but overall, the IBIS isn't bad in the SO2S. Good. You're good. Okay. Okay, good. Very nice. Slowing down a little bit. Mm. I really like this leaf. We should just just keep going here. Can you peek behind it? Yeah. Uh, this side. Where? Oh, there, bottom. Can you do back against the wall? So still three fourth. One, two, and three. So I'm gonna try the 25 frames per second. I'll be shooting it now. Uh, Tossi, can you move just a little bit? Oh wow, that emptied it all out. So just testing the buffer. Watch this um, buffer here on the bottom right. It says 50 pictures. I'm using electronic shutter. Uh, Tossi, if you want, you can start moving around just a little bit. Okay, one, two, and three. And so it is actually taking, look at that, pretty quick. And underneath the uh, fluorescent light, it looks like there may be banding. But let me just check. And looks like there's no embedding at all with this electronic shutter. Pretty interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna test out the high ISO. It's the ISO 6400. Okay, ha having a little bit hard time focusing on Tossie's face. But taking a couple shots here. And just wanna see how good the image quality is at ISO 6400. Okay, a couple more. And it is pretty dark right now. All right, we are done with our photo shoot and it was really fun working with Tossi. Thank you so much for helping me test out uh, the new Leica SL2S camera. And it was pretty interesting to see it perform in low light conditions. Um, pretty interesting to see it perform with video. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really track you that well. You were yeah. kind of out of focus. Mm -hmm. And pretty interesting to see the fast electronic shutter. It's almost like a video where yeah. it captures 25 frames per second. Mm -hmm. And battery is still good. This whole shoot is still lasting. Uh, your thoughts about the camera and the um, photo shoot overall? Yeah, overall this was a fun shoot. Um, it was great to see all the different features. I was amazed by so much today. I learned mm -hmm. a lot too. Um, just the different physical features and the internal features. Um, the camera quality is amazing. Um, the pictures came out wonderfully and yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, successful shoot today. Yes, yeah. I'm so curious to see how the photos look like on the computer. Mm -hmm. um, right here, I mean, this probably looks bright on video, but it's actually really dark right now. Sunset yes. like 20 minutes ago mm -hmm. already. Yeah. Uh, so just taking the low light shots, I can't wait to see how it looks on a computer mm -hmm. to see how grainy it is or if it's really well controlled as a lot of people say with this camera. Uh, so thank you again. Yes, I know you me. leave soon yes, um, off week. island yes, this week. So do appreciate you yeah. taking time mm -hmm. off from your busy Absolutely. schedule to help me out. Yeah.
Yeah, Thank it's you. a pleasure. Bye, everyone. Bye. All right, let's take a look at some raw files on the computer. All raw files from the Leica SO2S have been unedited in Lightroom. So first raw file, looking at this, I just wanna talk about the Sigma 45 millimeter 2.8 lens. This lens is very, very sharp, wide open and 2.8. And I was even surprised at the background it produces for a 2.8 lens. The background is blurred very smoothly. I don't see any uh, distracting um, bokeh here. So the lens being this small and compact and being able to blur the background like this, I was, I was surprised. It's actually a good portrait lens. But we're here for the um, camera and looking at the sensor. So let's try to look at dynamic range, lowering down the highlights. You're able to get some of the sky back, but not much, lowering down exposure. Again, not that much, but you see some of the highlights are clipped here. I think this BSI sensor really shines for shadow detour and underexposed images. So increasing the shadows all the way up and the exposure slider. I'm surprised that I don't see any noise that ISO 100 is very, very clean. Another example I wanna show you is this photo taken by G Young and again, unedited. And this was shot with the reflector on Tossie and the sun was behind her. So let's see if we can bring back some of the details and the highlights. Not that much. So the way that you should shoot this camera is uh, underexposed because if you bring up the shadows and the exposure for like a dark image, it's going to be clean. You're not going to get any noise at all. And I think this is similar to other Leica cameras where Landscape photographers like using like the Leica S007 would shoot underexposed and I don't have any experience with the M10, but looking at the M10 files it is very similar to this, has very good um, uh, shadow uh, recovery. Uh, next example is actually a landscape shot at the beach. So again, highlights, uh, able to get a little bit more back. But the people in the ocean, you can't see them at all, but increasing shadows all the way up and exposure, you're able to see their faces and it is actually very clean. No noise at all. So this is before and this is after. Pretty interesting. And just taking a look at the autofocus while Tossie was walking towards me, it wasn't that great but Leica said they will release a new firmware for the SO2S this year, spring of 2021, and it's supposed to improve face and body detect. So just looking here, she, uh, talks out of focus, then she comes in, into focus. We try again, again, out of focus, a little bit blurry, she's out of focus, and then boom, it hits focus again. So a little bit slow for the SO2S when um, trying to focus. And then when it does miss focus, the next shot, then it'll grab Tossie's face right away. So still need some improvement with the um, face uh, detect during autofocus, but I'm sure the firmware will um, fix that. Uh, next is the 25 frames per second electronic shutter. What I did notice on the computer when looking at each raw file, and it was able to shoot 50 raw files in two seconds, and each raw file is like 45 megabytes each. I see banding, I don't know if you guys can see it, I see banding when I change each raw file, but then when Lightroom loads it, it seems like the banding disappears. So I don't know if you guys see that, or the banding is there, but I just don't see it when the file is loaded. Um, but yes, uh, zooming in, each raw file is sharp. Uh, this is ISO 3200, it's actually very, very clean. And again, um, highlights going down, actually pretty good. But then again, shadows, ISO 3200, actually not bad. Very, very good. Um, but yes, uh, fill up the buffer really quick. 50 raw files in two seconds and 
I'm not using the fastest um, cards. I'm using the Lexar. Uh, I was using the Lexar. I uh, forget what speed. I think 1667. Uh, so it took some time to clear the buffer. Uh, last shot I want to show you is shot at ISO 6400. I am surprised I can still recover a lot of highlights. So the whole ton sky came back and it was as well as shadow detail. So again, very clean. To me, this is clean. This is really good for ISO 6400 being able to, this is before and this is after. And look at the uh, background before and then after able to get some sky back in. It's, I mean, I don't have to do shadows all the way like this, maybe just like this. Uh, shadows 34 and exposure a little bit but to me ISO 6400 is cleaner than what I used to shoot with the Leica SL so if you have the Leica SL already and you shoot a lot of 4k video and you just want uh, the better EVF uh, it's not gonna make a huge difference and if you want maybe better battery life because this does have better battery life than the regular SL then you should sell the Leica, your Leica SL to get the SL2S. But the thing is, the Leica SLs are going for a good price right now, $2,300 I've seen on the used market. So if you sell your Leica SL for $2,300, you're gonna have to fork out like $2,500 of your own money just to upgrade to the SL2S. So I'm not too sure if that's a smart move for you to do. If you're just mainly doing stills and you're not shooting a lot of high ISO shots. Like SL so still a very capable camera. The battery life in that is still very good. EVF of 4.4 megapixels or a million dots is still very good. You don't really need IBIS. I use the Leica like SL a lot for portraits and I didn't really need IBIS in that camera. And again, the EVF is very sharp um, to this day. And it just, it feels good in the hands. Uh, so I will still keep it for stills, but if you're doing events and you're doing video on the side, um, if you have like a YouTube channel like this and you want to use a camera for both video and stills, then I think it's a good investment for the SL2S. And the IBIS does help a lot in video, but not as good as the Fujifilm X-T4, but I know it's better than the Sony cameras I have tried. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Guam Photography, and if you haven't, please subscribe. Thank you.